Hello, Lawson. Today I'm going to read you a story um, that was written by one of my students for a project, The ABCs of Extinction. We did a project called Racing Extinction, trying to see if we couldn't help animals from becoming extinct. And I, th I really liked her, her story, so I thought I would share it with you before I returned it to her. A is for the albacore tuna disappearing from the sea. There's the little fishies. And they get caught all the time. And their numbers are going down. B is for the beluga whale wishing to swim free. I like the way she did the artwork on this. A beluga whale. Beluga. Beluga whale. C is for the coral reef threatened by polluted trash. That's under the sea, like the little mermaid. They're very sensitive to pollution. D is for a dolphin with without help that could be gone in a flash. Is a dolphin. E is for elephant whose tusks shouldn't be a prize. They hunt their tusks and they chop them off and they kill the elephant just to get that. There you go. F is for the fishing cat whose home is being taken away. So sometimes animals lose their homes because humans are building where they used to live or tearing down the forest. G is for Galapagos turtle, the biggest tortoise in the world. Now your mommy saw one down there when we were at uh, Walt Disney World. They're really big. You'll have to ask her how big. Definitely bigger than you. H is for honeybee, that we need to keep our plants growing. So here's a little bee. Bees are good for us. We need bees. Although they can sort of sting now and then, and that might hurt. But they're very important. I is for the injury losing its Madagascar home in the trees. Do you see that? <clears throat> the Indri. J is for the Javan rhinoceros, hunted for its one horn. See the rhinoceros? It's sort of facing us, so you can't see, uh, see its horn that well. His face is right here, his little nose, his mouth, and there's his eyes and his ears. K is for the killer whale whose food is disappearing right before its eyes. Now, it's not a whale, but it hunts whales. L is for lemur whose home is in the tropical rainforest and it's being taken away. M is for manatee who wants its space to swim free in the ocean. Now you can see these when you are down in Florida visiting your great aunt Connie or uncle, great uncle Dale. They have lots of manatees around there. They come in the winter time to be in the spring where it's nice and warm. N is for numbat, a marsupial almost gone from the Australian lands. So out in Australia the numbat. O is for orangutan that swings from the trees deep in the jungle. I bet you your mom and dad have seen an orangutan. They sort of look like a monkey, a little bit like a gorilla, somewhere in between. B is for the proboscis monkey 
that just wants to keep the trees around. Now, I don't know if they're in your neck of the woods or not in Bangladesh. I'm not sure. Q is for the quokka, relative of the kangaroo, with the size of a mouse. So it's really tiny. It's very tiny. See its little nose and its little eyes, two little paws and its little ears. And it's related to a kangaroo. Red, R is for the red panda. Deforestation is causing them to decrease. There's the red panda. Looks completely different from a panda bear that I, that we think of. S is for the sea otter whose soft brown fur is wanted by humans. They just look too adorable to want to hunt them, but somebody does because they want their fur to make coats and stuff. T is for the tapir who shouldn't be your pet. See? So he has a little long snout. Sort of cute looking, but very unusual. U is for the Uriel, who doesn't want to be a trophy on your shelf. So see how he looks? He looks like he's related to a ram. <clears throat> v is for Vulture, who is almost completely gone from India, Pakistan, and Nepal. Well, that's very close to where you're at. Or might be. W is for the water buffalo, who shouldn't be your next pair of shoes. See, the water buffalo with his horns. And they must use the, the hide there for his, for to make shoes. X is for exit. Please don't let these animals leave so soon. So they're saying, don't, don't let these animals become extinct. Even though that starts with an E. Y is for the yellow-eyed penguin. They have less than 2,000 breeding pairs left, so that's not a whole lot. Not in the wild, it isn't. Little penguin. That's your grandpa's favorite animal, the penguin. So this is the ABCs of extinction by my student, Emma Rundle. I think she did a very nice job. And I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye!